just like that, day two started. Waking up in White Mountain National Forest with my pop-up RV after a long drive from the Adirondacks. Just like the Adirondacks, I was treated with intense morning fog. I had no clue I would have to pass through so much fog, but it was similar to how 2020 has unfolded. Came to the realization that the fog was all the negative people, all the negative thoughts and evils in the world. The fog was blurring our vision. It was blurring our path. We had to fight through the fog to see the light, or in this case, the vivid autumn colors. Without fog, fall could be truly appreciated. As the morning progressed, the sun started to eat away the fog, making our path much clearer. So for now, it was on to Woodstock and Stowe, Vermont. After traveling a long distance driving through the various small towns and winding roads, I was finally at my second planned destination, Sleepy Hollow Farm in Woodstock, Vermont. As I drove the back roads, witnessing so many farms and fall leaves, a new way of life came over me. Witnessing how people choose to live, seeing how simple yet happy someone can be. Driving through Woodstock reminded me of a perfect neighborhood you would only see on TV. In a way, it didn't seem real, just like the Grand Canyon. Some things are just so picture perfect. Some things are so stimulating to our brains that we just can't consume it all. Spending a couple hours at Sleepy Hollow Farm really had me feeling like I was in a dream.
was I dreaming or is this real life? As I walked down to the farm, I took in the surrounding area. How the trees lined the road was so intentional but natural at the same time. I wondered how long ago were these trees planted? Was this what the original creator wanted? Every step closer, I could feel my breath getting deeper. My lungs were filling with autumn vibes. The smell of fall was in full effect and in the air. This was a magical, dreamy place. No wonder it's called Sleepy Hollow Farm. The older couple walking toward me owned the dogs and lived nearby. It was everything I could imagine and more visiting Vermont in fall of 2020. It was a short drive to Stowe and Emily's Bridge where I ran into JD Joyride, a fellow YouTuber with 160k following. After Emily's Bridge, I stopped at an old farmhouse selling pumpkins. Vermont cleansed my soul and it was time for Acadia National Park. 